Halifax. Rapport secret. Le gouvernement n'a aucune idée de l'effet toxique des sables bitumineux sur nos lacs et nos rivières. Plus de recherches seraient nécessaires pour connaître l'impact du pétrole sur le, sur le milieu aqua aquatique. Pourtant, les conservateurs ont coupé dans le financement de la recherche. Ils ont abandonné les lacs expérimentaux et ils ont coupé à l'Institut Maurice Lamontagne. Pourquoi les conservateurs jouent-ils avec la sécurité des Canadiens et de leur environnement? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I can assure uh, this member that the responsible development of our energy resources is integral to Canada's economy, and oil and gas is uh, an area of considerable study as we seek to broaden our scientific knowledge of the field. Through our responsible resource development plan, we're enhancing our world-class tanker safety system, but we're also doing additional scientific research on petroleum products to broaden our understanding of how these substances and how they behave in marine environments. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Well, Mr. Speaker, a federal report reveals huge gaps in the handling of oil sands bitumen spills. Nobody, not the National Energy Board, Environment Canada, Fisheries and Oceans, nobody knows how to deal with a bitumen spill properly. And in the Arctic, the problem is even worse. Conservatives, they continue to pretend that nothing's wrong. Well, the Prime Minister has gutted environmental laws and cut funding to that very research. So when will they stop cutting the research that will help us deal with these spills? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our government has made responsible resource development a priority. We have made significant investments and progress since we've launched the Joint Implementation Panel for the Oil Sands Monitoring with Alberta. More areas are being monitored. There is more frequent sampling and more contamin uh, contaminants are being examined. This is transparent public process, which has some of Canada's top scientists involved. Our government will continue to support Canadian jobs while protecting the environment. Thank you. Mr. Speaker.